Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and today we will answer a question from my Udemy student in this Dialogs Evo for Advanced Users and that is from Isam Elalumi. Isam said, Hi Nelka, I saw that we have hemispherical calculation and cylindrical when we use uh, when do we use those and how? Thank you. Okay, so I replied to Isam and I told him that this is more of calculating the facial, uh, uh, whole facial modeling. For example, if you're having a video conferencing or um, you are in the immigration in the airport or you are in the theater or uh, usually it's used in pedestrian or road lighting, okay? So I opened this one just to show you how we can use this one. I created a video about pedestrian lighting before and please uh, don't look at the calculation result here because this is not correct. This uh, uh, intersection should have at least 50 lux enough for that intersection. 50 is, uh, yeah, the requirement or enough for an intersection. Yes, so let's go and check this one. So I created a um, calculation surface for a pedestrian and also for the intersection. And we can use a hemis hemispherical and also cylindrical calculation in this one. So for example, here I created and checked this um, horizontal, perpendicular, cylindrical, and hemispherical illuminance. And look at this values here, and you can see the values of this one here. So for uh, hemispherical, it's one, two, five. Okay, I said don't for, don't look at the values right now because uh, I I put a high wattage street light here. I can uh, reduce this one later on. Okay, so uh, you need to have a good value on this one. Why is it very important to have a cylindrical and hemispherical in road lighting, or for example? specifically in actually in pedestrian is because you need to have a good modeling when you cross the road so you can see the people passing by immediately like this guy here because it's important to not only to sh to see the shadow of this one but also to really see the modeling or the people crossing the road okay and uh, yeah this is the um semi-cylindrical uh, elimination and this is very good for this is used in the calculation for video conferencing or in the office okay so this pedestrian crossing is the most important when we calculate for the uh, cylindrical and hemispherical calculation sometimes the client will not ask you this but if you are a lighting designer and if you are working on a road lighting and mo uh, most of the time road lighting in an urban area or a very busy commercial area. Yes, you need to consider calculating the uh, pedest the hemispherical or the cylindrical calculation for a pedestrian. For a road lighting calculation, it's automatic. You don't need to select it because it's there automatic when you calculate it in the street lighting calculations. Okay, but for a pedestrian, you really need to um add it in your calculation report okay so uh that's how you will use it is um okay so if you're working on an indoor project you can just use it in office or video conferencing or maybe in theater or in um, um immigration area so you can see properly the face of the people and yeah that's it so I hope you learned something today. And if you really want to learn more, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel or be my friend or be my friend in Facebook. And also, if you uh, want to get my book, go and visit Amazon.com. And of course, uh, also go and check my LinkedIn uh, profile to get some coupons about this Udemy courses. Or if you want to learn more about the road lighting design techniques, go and visit my Udemy course, the road lighting design techniques. Okay, so that's it for now and I'll see you again on the next video.
And oh, I forgot. Uh, if you want to learn more about this Dialux Evo software, go and visit this knowledge base in Dialux Evo, and you will learn this what is horizontal illuminance, perpendicular, perpendicular, cylindrical, semi cylindrical, and a lot of stuff here. Okay, just go and search here those topics, and then the Dialux knowledge base will tell you everything. All right, that's it, and see you again on the next video.